So what does marriage mean to Nicole and Brett? Love is a promise that is always kept, a fortune that can never be spent, and a seed that can flourish in even the most unlikely of places. And this radiance that never fades, this mysterious and magical joy, is the greatest treasure of all, one known only by those who love. And this is what has happened to Nicole and Brett. I've never been a cool hand loop, the quarterback of the wind team, or the guy with the right kind of punchlines everybody wants to be. Nicole told me that she had met someone and he was coming over to pick her up and they're going to head out for dinner. So I thought, oh, that's nice. And I asked her where he was from, what's his name, trying to get all the deets on him. A few seconds later, I heard this noise, a very loud noise. What has she gotten herself into now? But Brett, but Brett being the Brett that he is, comes inside, introduces himself with a mighty handshake and a big hug. Doesn't even know me, he gives a big hug. And was such a gentleman. From that point forward, I thought, okay, this guy is a keeper. Brett said to me, I'm going to Lindsay to meet a girl named Nicole. I said, well, you better be meeting her in a public place. <laughs> and he said, <laughs> he said, I'm fine, Mom. So, just a mother being a mother. So, well, Dad and I are very glad you went that day. You could not have met a more beautiful girl to be your forever partner. You guys are perfect for one another. Nicole, you look very elegant today. You're beautiful inside and out. We welcomed you into our family six years ago, and it's been a pleasure having you around. You have brought so much happiness into Brett's life. I am strong as an oak, soft like leather. You are two very special people, Bert and Pickle. Pickle and Bert. It is said that when someone calls you by your nickname, that is a sign of affection. And looking around at everyone here today, it is apparent that you two have touched hearts of many people. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Look at me. Are you crying? <laughs> Not <yet>. <laughs> <laughs> You look so good. <laughs> <laughs> you look good. <laughs> we look forward to seeing where the future takes you to. You are off to an incredible start, and we love you both. If Nicole were Winnie the Pooh and Brett were Christopher Robin, they would say to each other, if you live to a hundred, I want to live to a hundred minus one day, so I never have to live without you. Now Nicole and Brett, you've invited us to witness the happiness you have found in each other today. You come ready today to make your pledges by which you commit yourselves to each other in love.
Nicole and Brett, may your lives be ever intertwined. Your love keep you together. May you build a home that is compassionate to all, full of respect and honor for others and each other. May your home be ever filled with peace, happiness, and love. I, Heather Nicole Pyle, take you, Brett Adam Thompson, take you, Brett Adam Thompson, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband, and these things I do promise you, and these things I do promise you, laughter when you are sad, laughter when you are sad, confidence when you are afraid, confidence when you are afraid, support when you are weak, support when you are weak, hope when you are in despair, hope when you are in despair, companionship when you are lonely, companionship when you are lonely, and unconditional love, and unconditional love, so long as we both shall live, so long as we both shall live. I, Brett Adam Thompson, take you, Heather Nicole Pyle, take you, Heather Nicole Pyle, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife, <laughs> and these things I do promise you, and these things I do promise you, laughter when you are sad, laughter when you are sad, confidence when you are afraid, confidence when you are afraid, support when you are weak, support when you are weak, hope when you despair, hope when you despair. Companionship when you are lonely. Companionship when you are lonely. And unconditional love. And unconditional love. And now, I, Drew Gonzalez, a Justice of the Superior Court of Ontario, by virtue of the powers invested in me by His Majesty the King and the Marriage Act of the Province of Ontario, do hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Let me kiss the bride. Family and friends, I give to you, husband and wife, Brett and Nicole Thompson. The two of you are such a great match, and I look forward to any time we spend with you guys because I know I'll leave laughing and with another hilarious story to tell. We've all waited for this day to come, and I'm so excited to finally celebrate the two of you with everyone that you love the most. And with that, I'd like everyone to raise a crock or a glass <laughs> to the happy couple. I love you both so much, and I wish you all the happiness in the world. I was a cold beer drinker down at Joe's place, a corner pocket slinker at a pedal down pace. Another man's early was my getting home late, fast as a whiskey shot, and everything. A bunch of us that were on Brett's bachelor party in, in Nashville. This is funny. <laughs> There's nothing, I don't know if it's funny or, I don't know, walking out of your bedroom and seeing Brett on the couch, sitting side by side to some 65 year old man in his underwear, and just seeing Brett get hooked up to an IV is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> they, they formed one of the greatest bonds that he was there the next morning for the same thing. <laughs> Even though Brett thought he was going to the Morgan Wallen concert tonight up until two days ago, I know how much this day means to him and for his family to be gathered here today. I still don't know what you see in him and how he managed to get someone like you, but I'm sure glad he did. You're one of the nicest people I've ever met, and you find a way to bring out the best in Brett. We are very thankful that Brett brought you into our lives and allowed you to become a great friend of ours. Oh, and on a final note, I'd like to thank you for appreciating Crocs as much as I do. Well, doggers, Gerald's probably fallen asleep in his chair by now, and... And Brett's itching to get on the dance floor, so I'm going to wrap this one up.
No way it was the last 